Hello friends. In previous classes, we studied about superconductors and their behavior. And we also studied how a normal material can behave like a superconductor. And that is what critical temperature comes into picture. In today's class, we'll be taking a dive further into critical temperature and critical magnetic field. <music> When a superconducting material is cooled below a certain temperature, it goes into the superconducting state from the normal state. The temperature at which the material in the normal state goes into the superconducting state is known as the critical temperature. As we studied in the previous class, critical temperature can also be called as transition temperature. Here, this is what the Tc or the critical temperature or the transition temperature would be marked. The transition is reversible. This is an important point. The transition is reversible, which means that if you cool below Tc, yes, your material is going to act like a superconductor, but if you warm it beyond Tc, your material is going to now act like a regular or a normal conductor. When the temperature of the material is increased above the critical temperature, it passes into the normal state. The transition is a thermodynamic phase transition. Just as the order of the arrangement of the atoms increases at the transition of the material from liquid to a solid state, a rearrangement of the conduction electrons takes place, leading to an increase in the order at the transition from normal to superconducting state. So basically, in a nutshell, Beyond the TC, your material is going to act like a normal conductor and below TC, your material is going to act like a superconductor. So if you want your material to behave like a superconductor, you have to make sure that the temperature limit has to be TC. The superconducting transition is sharp for a chemically pure and structurally perfect specimen. This is very important. The sharpness that you can see here is an ideal situation wherein the material is chemically pure which means it has no impurities and structurally perfect which means its structure has no defects while the transition range is broad for specimens which are structurally imperfect or with certain impurities well if you are asked to draw a graph it would somewhat appear be like this here the phase comes and then there will be a certain steep before falling down. This is how the graph for a imperfect with impurities would look like. Now let's talk about critical magnetic field. Superconducting state depends on the strength of the magnetic field in which the material is placed. Superconductivity vanishes if sufficiently strong magnetic field is applied. If you apply a very strong magnetic field, of course the material's superconducting state or superconducting property is going to vanish. The minimum magnetic field which is necessary to regain the normal resistivity is called as the critical magnetic field which we denote with as Hc. When the applied magnetic field exceeds the critical value Hc, the superconducting state is destroyed and the material goes into the normal state. So basically, the value of Hc also depends with temperature. Now, if you want to see the graph, the graph looks like this. If you can see, this is the temperature and this is the value for Hc. So at temperature 0, you have the value here, which is denoted as Hc of 0, which means the critical magnetic field at 0 Kelvin. And for every temperature, let's say, suppose if you want to check here, for this value of, let's say, suppose Hc1, you will be having a temperature value T1. For this value of Hc2, your temperature value would be let's say suppose T2. 
so if you can see as you increase the temperature the value of hc decreases mathematically this relation is given as hc of t is nothing but as hc of 0 into 1 minus t by tc the whole square there could be numericals asked from this relation so make sure you know this formula very well thank you